This morning, the average price for a gallon in Texas of gas dipped below 390. Look at that, with most of the Metroplex even lower. It's a slight improvement from this time last week. And uh, we are getting really familiar with the economics behind gas prices and wondering how to save. Sort of similar to the 1970s. And back then, it forced drivers and even really the world of sports to consider some sacrifices. Chris Adegui has this morning's Daybreak Rewind. Supply issues and international conflict. World wars among big powers are quite possible to control dwindling oil supplies. Just like it did in 1973 when an OPEC oil embargo led to an international shortage and rocked the global economy. In the Dallas area today, dealers raised prices to more than 40 cents a gallon. Yes, kids, that was a lot. But a federal government price cap kept the prices down, yet created a whole new set of problems, like rationing and an industry shutting down, unable to turn a profit. But you will go up when you get the word. Yes, sir, I definitely will. Another idea to save gas, just drive slower. And many Dallas motorists agree that it's going to take a decrease in speed in order to slow down the energy crisis. The city of Dallas even considered regulating it. City manager George Schrader has urged the city council to reduce speed limits from 60 to 50 miles an hour. It all sounds like a great plan until you have to be somewhere. Are you willing to slow down to 50 miles an hour? No. <laughs> Why not? Because it's stupid, you know, and I just miss the light. <laughs> but if you think this current pain at the pump hurts, the one back in the 70s not only threatened our wallet, it threatened our football. If the fuel crisis gets worse and a ban on Sunday driving is put into effect, this is what Texas Stadium might look like. A Sunday ban on driving was considered like some European countries did. But what would that do to the NFL? If the National Football League were forced to move to Saturday, it would mean a total blackout of uh, all professional football. Cowboys GM Tech Schramm said the league couldn't broadcast during college football Saturdays. So the other option? I don't think our game would be very attractive being played before an empty uh, stadium. The NFL playing in empty stadiums, an unimaginable idea. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegui. Exactly. Boy, it's hard to remember. I mean, I wasn't around for that, but just how bad that was for drivers in the 70s. Well, I remember my parents the other day were talking about it in gas lines, right? So they yeah. were saying it just got into one of those phases where you never left, you never made sure you got down below half a gallon. You all, if you saw a place, you stopped, even if you didn't need that much gas. So even when you have that pain at the pump today, just be glad you're not in a long line like folks did back then. Yeah, we're getting desperate now. Yeah. <laughs>